Hi all, welcome back to the Rummage Workshop. Today we're gonna to be transforming this traditional style Dixie dresser into a modern statement piece. This is in excellent condition and you can just tell that there's lovely wood grain under that speckled factory finish. The original hardware is dating this piece quite a bit, so I'm gonna be replacing all of the hardware with something more sleek and modern. I love seeing pieces come in with drawer liners already intact because it usually means that the drawers are in excellent condition, which these absolutely are. All of the drawers glide nicely and there are no major repairs, so we can dive right in. Let's get started. First, I pull out all the drawers and remove the hardware and then mark where each drawer goes on the back panel. Next, I remove the cabinet from the frame to make it easier to work with. Then pull out all the smaller center drawers. I was really not liking the decals on the center drawers, so I decided to pry them up for a more streamlined look. I didn't expect so much of the underlying wood to come up with it though. Because of this, I ended up having to spend quite a bit of time removing all the little loose bits of wood before applying a hefty layer of Bondo. In the end, this gave me the flush clean look that I was going for. Next, I'm gonna sand down and expose the legs, some details on the door, the front of the box, and because I'm a glutton for punishment, the entire top as well. This was one of the longest sanding days I've had in months. My back was hurting by the end of it all, but I really, really think that this will add that little something special to this project. Here are a few tips for exposing wood or wood veneer. Always work in the direction of the wood grain, take your time around the edges, keep your sander flat, and let it do all the work. Change out your sandpaper often and always come back with a finer grit around 220 to refine the texture. Then I fill all the hardware holes with wood filler. While that cures, I set to work on the door. I exposed the back of the door so that everything looks cohesive, then used 150 grit sandpaper to level out the bondo on the door. The next day I sanded down the wood filler on the drawers and then drilled new holes for our fancy new hardware. Now that everything's sanded, it's time to prep for paint. I first started by giving everything a good vacuum and then wiped every surface inside and out with TSP alternative and warm water. Then I taped off the areas where the wood is exposed and wrapped the drawers in plastic. Next I applied two coats of Zinsser Bin shellac based primer, sanding between each coat, then mixed up my paint to spray. Earlier this week I put the paint color up to a vote on my Instagram and it was a landslide for Eventide by Melange Paints. I cannot wait to see how this looks with the exposed wood. Next, I removed all the tape and stained the exposed wood using bare whitewash pickling stain. I wanted to accentuate the wood and keep it light and bright. Once that dried, I sealed everything up using bare as water-based poly in a satin finish. I left that to cure overnight, and then in the morning I attached the new hardware and put everything back together. Let me remind you of what this looked like before and what it looks like now. Thank you guys for following along with me today. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you back here next week for another transformation.